Hello friends, welcome to SPA Academy. In this video, we are going to install Elasticsearch and Kibana and we will also going to run Kibana. So let's go through it. And I'm doing this on Mac OS and the process is very similar if you are on Linux or Windows. So first, uh, this is Google and let's type download Kibana, okay? Or download Elasticsearch first. We need to download Elasticsearch and Kibana separately. So this thing you need to keep this thing, uh, keep in mind. So you can click on the first link. It is automatically deducing my OS. And as you can see, the commands are also mentioned here if you want to go through it. Let's directly download this one. Uh, I will explain later how to do this through Docker. But right now, let's download through Mac OS. Okay. As you can see, it is getting downloaded. And meanwhile, what I'm also doing is download. Kibana, right? Again, click on the first link. There are several things. Uh, OS is already uh, did, uh, deduced here, which is Mac OS for me. And as you can see, both are getting downloaded. Okay. Let's go to the uh, found, uh, show folder and uh, let's wait for a few seconds for Kibana to be downloaded. So Kibana is also downloaded. Let's copy both of these, Kibana and Elasticsearch both. And I'm copy pasting it into my dev folder. Okay, let's copy paste it to do my dev folder. So you can copy paste it at any place. It is always advisable to remove it from the folder. Just uh, uh, remove this. Uh, uh, just unzip it. So you, I, as you, as you would have seen, I just clicked on this Elasticsearch and it uh, unzipped itself. There is a command also which you can use if you want to. Similarly, I'm doing this, I'm doing unzipping of my Kibana also, right? So as you can see, this is getting unzipped. Okay, so both Elasticsearch and Kibana have been unzipped and they are present here as directories. And uh, also the version is same. It is always advisable to use Elasticsearch and Kibana of same version. Let's go to terminal friends. What you can do, you can press command space and click terminal. Okay. This is my Mac OS and I can check my directory and what I can do, I can go to, go to maybe down, uh, deck. I can check all the directories. So I need to go to documents. Inside documents, I need to go to this path. This path would be the place where you have Unzipped your uh, Kibana and and Elasticsearch. So as you can see, Kibana and Elasticsearch both are present here. This is the unzipped one, Elasticsearch 8.82, Kibana-8.82. These are the unzipped ones. So let's go into inside Elasticsearch. Friends, the good news is you don't need to install anything. Everything is embedded inside this Elasticsearch and Kibana. And... Uh, as you can see, these are the folders which are already present there, right? And uh, there is a bin folder also, uh, which is here. What I will do right now, I will start my Elasticsearch directly. You just need to pre uh, press this command and your Elasticsearch will start. It will take some time, friends. And uh, what I request you is to wait for me to start this. And uh, also telling you this thing that first time it will take some time, but when you will start it the next time, it won't take this much amount of time. So bear with me for some time or uh, maybe press this video for uh, or forward this video for 30 to 60 seconds. I'm keeping it uh, as it is, as, as everything is getting displayed, I'm showing it to you. So security is enabled. Everything works with HTTPS in uh, in Elastic version after eight, right? As you can see, various things are getting unzipped and um, it is configuring. So I I think my Elastic Search is ready, and as you can see, it has also provided me the password which I will use with my Kibana, right? I can use this for my configuration. What I also request you friends is copy paste this to your any particular folder. So I'm copy pasting this into my notes folder. 
Okay. I'm just copy pasting it so that I can use it in future also. This password will be used in future also. It is also providing you one uh, update command of resetting your password if you forget if you want to change it or if you forget your password. If you if you don't find this command, then you can Google it also or copy paste it from my description. I will provide it you there or maybe you can see from the screen. Just save this thing, right? This will be used again. Let's go back to terminal and uh, focus upon starting. Uh, uh, focus upon starting our uh, Kibana, right? So I'm going into my Kibana directory. As you can see, this is Kibana present here. Before we start Kibana, we need to disable our gatekeeper, and this is only important in case of in case if you are using Mac OS. Otherwise, it is this command is not important. So just run this command. Right, x a t t r minus d or hyphen d or hyphen r com apple quarantine. Okay, and then you need to mention the path of your kibana. Right, so you just need to enter this command. That's it. Then you can go to what your kibana folder again. The things are very similar. You don't need to install anything inside your kibana. There is a bin directory also there. And as you would have already guessed, you need to just type the command like this and your Kibana will start. First guys, you need to start your elastic search. Then you need to start your Kibana because uh, Kibana will run on your, uh, will run on your elastic search. It will use your elastic search. Sometimes your, uh, uh, let's not install it right now to, to Friends, as you would have seen that uh, my uh, uh, Kibana has been started. There is a there was a prompt which came for Git. Kindly ignore that. That that was not uh, because of installation of Kibana. You won't get that the pop up, right? I got that because other things are also running in my system. Let's copy paste this command, friend, because now we want to run it. Uh, so your uh, just for your information, by default, your Kibana will run on local host port 5601 and your elastic search will run on port 9200 right you you if you check this then you will be able to find that uh, your elastic search is using uh, uh, port number 9200 and uh, current health is green that means your all nodes of your elastic search are working pretty fine right and this is working on 9200 if you go to config and yml file you, you can check this so meanwhile i am starting my kibana let's copy paste this to our browser so uh, a very simple screen configure elastic to get started let's go to back to our elastic search friends and in elastic search it is mentioned Configure Kibana to use this cluster. Run Kibana and click the configuration link in the terminal when Kibana starts. Copy paste the following enrollment token, paste it into your Kibana in your browser, valid for next 30 minutes. So I request you to install your Kibana as soon as you open your Elasticsearch for the first time because this is valid for 30 minutes only. Let's copy this and paste it into here. Okay. This will be different for you. Might be same also. And then you need to present uh click configure elastic otherwise you need to configure it manually which will take some time let's configure this and wait for a few more seconds and uh, saving settings starting elastic completing setup taking few seconds maybe up to a minute let's wait right and here here we go so this is your elastic and uh, uh, Elastic and Kibana, I mean, it uses your ELK stack. It is asking for username and password. As you might have guessed, the username and password are mentioned here. That's why I asked you to copy this. So your username is only one user, one which is Elastic. You can create more users also in future, which I will tell in the future videos. And you need to copy paste this Elastic and password. And let's wait for magic to happen. Your Kibana will be up in few seconds. 
I hope not up to a minute this time. And, and, and we are waiting, we are waiting. Looks like I need to upgrade my RAM and CPU, maybe on my MacBook also. Let's check logs, what, what is going on there? Hmm, okay. It is running something there. Could take some time when when we are running it for the first time. Uh, if you if you want to go into details, you can check these logs also. And here we go. Uh, it took some time to start my uh, Kibana this time. Earlier it was taking less amount of time, but it finally started. And you you will see this screen. And what we can do after this is explore on my own. And you can explore your Kibana. This is the dev tool which you will use a lot in your in our lectures. And this is there is Discover app also, which you can use for your uh, monitoring of logs and everything. If there is any question or you want me to complete any other thing, please mention in the comment section. I will do that. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you.